Yeah, Mike. Murray, how how are these world events and the disillusionment with socialism? How does that impact on the last bastion of status thinking, the academic community? <laughs> Well, it's interesting. They're kind of confused. Um, what they try to say, well, Robert Heilbronner, the distinguished quasi-Marxist uh, economist, wrote an article about six months ago saying the war between capitalism and socialism is over and capitalism is won, period. Okay, so they've, 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 I mean, the intelligence Marxists have given up. However, of course, that doesn't mean status, the status threat is over, or quite the contrary. Now, they're now shifting to a, another line of defense, namely interventionism. We have to keep capitalism, keep markets. Markets are good, at least in their place. <laughs> Uh, and have some kind of regulated, egalitarianized, whatever. In other words, the, the, current, the coming struggle will be, I'm not implying that we won, we have to relax. The uh, coming struggle will be over interventionism, some kind of you know, statism, uh, quasi-fascism, whatever. In other words, but, but the, actual, the full socialism has had it, but they, but the, uh, except, I say, from some professors uh, who are still in there. Uh, Alexander Kober, who, by the way, is a great writer. I wish he were a libertarian, a great writer. But unfortunately, he, he's attacking Gorbachev for selling out the international communist movement. He's right in a sense. He has sold it out. Have to happily for, for us.